what should your first job be in high school or even college? And on top of that, what job should it be? And more importantly, well, Tommy, what do I do with all the money I'm making now with my first job? I have no expenses, no bills to pay. What do I do with all this new money? It doesn't matter if it's a dollar, it's still new money that you didn't have before. And I'm gonna answer all these questions because when I was in high school, college, growing up, no one answered any of these questions whatsoever. So in this video, I'm gonna break everything down. What job to get, how to get it, and on top of that, what to do with the money. Invest it, flip it, keep it, save it, spend it, what to do. I'm gonna answer all those questions in this video. Now, if you guys don't know me, my name is Tiny Bryson. I'm an accountant, and I upload videos on YouTube every single day. Subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so you get notified. On top of that, do me a favor, smash the like button. And here's a question for you guys, okay? What was your first job? And if you haven't had a job yet, what do you want your dream job to be? By the way, let's be realistic. I'm talking about right now. So if you don't have a master's in sociology or like science, like biometrics, don't say I want to be an astronaut or I want to fly to the moon. By the way, when I was in high school, my main thing and in college also, my dream job, believe it or not, was to work at the Apple store. I had this entire thing where I wanted to wear this Apple shirt, help people out with their iPhones, buy iPhones in the Apple store, and then flip them <laughs> to other people in the market. I know it's against the policy, but that was my thing. You get it, it's business. That's what I wanted to do, but I never got the job. Comment down below and let me know what's your dream job and what was your first job if you had any whatsoever. Now, the first thing that I wanna break down guys here is basically, tell me what should my first job be and why should I do that job? Well, the first thing is this, if you're 18 and above, you can easily become a sales associate, entrepreneur, or you can be the standard, boring, in a sense for me, because I don't like swimming, a lifeguard. Now, if you're 18 and below, you can go out there, work in a supermarket. Okay, that was my first job also, and I made almost $100 a day off of tips and then also pay. On top of that, you can also start flipping things on the internet. For example, if you want to flip phones, if you want to hustle, if you want to do garage sales, whatever you want to do. Or you can just work at a fast food place, for example, McDonald's, Subway, Wendy's, all these fast food places. Now, and if you're wondering, well, Tommy, why aren't you giving me more options when it comes to, for example, the different types of jobs I should get, you know, like a list from like one through 15? The answer is because I know you guys are smart. If you found this video, you're smart because you looked it up on Google or YouTube, wherever you looked it up, okay? The answer is this. You can easily go on YouTube or Google and type in jobs to get as a teenager, or as a college student, and you'll literally get a list like this one right here of 10, 20, 15, 50 different jobs. There's not a shortage of jobs out there and ideas and options. There's a shortage of information that tells you exactly, well, what do I do with that job when I get it? And how do I actually use the money? And what do I use that money for to multiply? That's why I'm making this video right here. Now to give you guys a boring list from like one to 80 or one to 50, or one to 15, no, that's not necessary, all right? Now the real question should actually be, tell me what type of job should I get? And if you ask me, my answer would always be get a job that's not capped, but you can actually earn a lot more money based on what you actually do. So for example, if you get a job at McDonald's, at The Gap, at Wendy's or Subway, whatever you wanna work at, all those jobs have a minimum wage and an hourly paid thing, okay? So for example, if you work one hour at McDonald's here in New York, you'll get paid around $12.75. Now. If I work at McDonald's and I literally work 10 times as hard as Brenda or Brandon here, okay, because Brandon takes the burgers and takes like an hour to flip them, and I do like 10 burgers every 10 minutes, well, it doesn't matter, okay? My efforts don't matter. I'll still be paid for that one hour no matter how hard I work. But if I were to get a job flipping things, you know, buying phones, selling phones, garage sales, flea markets, you know, retail arbitrage, all these things. If I were to get a job like this, if I sold 10 items because I work really hard and I work really smart, well, I can make between 500 to $3,000 every single week. So for example, when I was in college, I was flipping sneakers and phones. I was making a lot more money than I was for my main two jobs, so basically gap and then also working as a work study in college. So those jobs were cool, but I was making a lot more money flipping items, because again, I would get paid around eight seventy five dollars at school and $10 at the gap, and it doesn't matter if I work 10 times as hard as this person or that person, I still got paid the same amount of money. And there's nothing more annoying than that if you ask me, okay? So I always used to use my skills and went out there, sold phones, 
so sneakers and it literally made like around like maybe like forty dollars and like 15 minutes of work so there you go if you want to get money you don't want to get a job that's capped out per hour you want to get something that doesn't have a cap and it's based on how you perform like selling things that's awesome now don't think i'm unrealistic here i always know that some people out there don't like selling things don't like buying things you know buying books at goodwill selling them on ebay i get it you know not everyone wants to do that you might want a normal job and that's fine now the alternative is this if you want a normal job either for consistent pay or for example just for experience well I highly recommend you grab a piece of paper, you make a list of all the jobs you want, and then you start thinking about like, hey, let me apply for this one, this one, this one, this one. No, I'll apply for all of them. And even when they don't call you back, you call them and find out if they got your application. And even when they say no, call back two weeks later and ask like, hey, um, did you guys get my application? Um, can I get in? Like, what's going on? You know, just like follow back. That's very strong. On top of that, if you just want a job for consistent pay, just get a job you actually like take the money and I'll tell you what to do with it later on. Now, if you want a job for experience, now that's normal. Trust me, experience is great. A lot of the times experience is greater than making money. So I completely understand that. If you want a job for experience, I highly recommend you stop thinking about money. I don't know why I did that, but you stop thinking about money and here's why, okay? Money is cool. Experience makes you a lot more money in the long term. So for example, if you want a job, be willing to work for free if it's for experience. Because again, if you get the experience from a person that's doing what you want to do 10 times higher, then you will end up getting those skills to make that same amount of money or even more. So don't worry about the money when it comes to experience, worry about the experience and who you're getting that information from. Now, the last tip I wanna give you guys before I tell you exactly what to do with the money is this, okay? Again, listen to this please, okay? Remember this, okay? You are probably like in your teens, maybe like 24, maybe like 26, 30, it doesn't really matter, okay? The whole point is this, okay? Whenever you get a job, whatever job you get, you can always, always quit. Do not feel trapped unless you're like 49 and have five kids, that's a different story, you have to pay bills, I get that. But the whole point is this, okay? If you are starting out and you get a job and you don't like it, don't worry about what anyone says, okay? Quit the job if you don't like it. All right, if you don't like it, just quit, bounce, and go somewhere else. Don't let anyone tell you like, well, you know, you told me you wanted this job, so you can't quit. Um, <laughs> Yes, I can. Okay, this is America, and I can quit this job whenever I want to quit. If I don't like it, I'll quit, I'll move on, okay? It's not like, oh, I quit this job, so you can never get another job again. That's false, okay? If you quit a job, it doesn't mean you'll get another job, or you won't get another job, okay? Now, I highly recommend when you quit a job, by the way, when I was in college, <laughs> okay, I always used to make a lot of excuses. For example, I used to be like, hey, you know, um, my dog um, passed away, man. I'm like super depressed. I just can't think about work right now. I'm super sorry. I just can't do it. Oh, I'm in college right now. We're having like finals. By the way, it's like it's like mid-October. There's no finals. We're having finals. I'm like super stressed. I just can't perform my job properly. So can I take a break and then I'll come back later? I never came back, okay? The whole point is you can always quit, but just make sure you leave on good terms. Don't start breaking bridges like, oh, I'm quitting, bro. I'm out of here. No, nah, don't do none of that, okay? Just quit on good terms and you can leave whenever you want to. Don't feel trapped. You're not trapped, okay? Okay? Don't feel like, oh, I have loyalty. No. Quit the job. If you don't perform, they won't pay you. And if you don't like it, why would you work there in the first place? Okay? That's my last point when it comes to what job you should get. Now, when it comes to the most important thing, Tommy, what do I do with the money I'm making if I don't have any bills and I also live with my parents? Or you might not live with your parents, but you don't have a lot of bills or whatever. What do I do with all the money. Now, hopefully, if you're watching this video, you are nowhere near the person I was when I was 17 or 12 years old, okay? I told you guys when I was 12 years old, I was making $100 every single day. Now, what I didn't tell you is this, okay? Lost my voice there. What I didn't tell you is this, okay? Basically, when I was 12 years old, I was working a job at a supermarket, yes, but I was also selling DVDs and airplanes and food at my school. So I was making a little bit more than a hundred bucks. But in reality, I used to grab all that money and take myself straight to the video game store and buy video games. When I got to like um 17, when I went to college, um, I got my first job, like official type job, you know? And basically what I did was this, I grabbed all that money and I took myself to the sneaker store and online and I bought clothes, I bought belts, I bought sneakers, I bought everything I wanted that I thought I wanted and I spent all the money on something called 
liabilities. Liabilities take money out your pocket. They don't put money in. Okay, so I spent all my money on dumb stuff. Hopefully, if you're watching this video, because at that age, I was not looking for these videos at all. I was just spending my money. If you're looking at this video, you probably are a lot smarter than I was back then. So congratulations, clap, clap. So I'm highly, I'm highly uh, positive that you won't make my mistakes and I'm very happy about that, okay? Now, here's what you do with the money, guys, okay? Now, if you are 18 and below or 18 and above and you got your first job and you don't have a lot of bills, um, the first thing you need is actually a budget, okay? So in the links down below, description down below, I have a link for my budget that I currently use till this day when I was making $60 a week and I went from that to almost making $10,000 every single month now, okay? So the main point is this. Once you know that you're making a lot of money, 500 bucks a week, 300 bucks a week, doesn't really matter. You're making money, you wanna have a budget to track all that money that's coming in and you know exactly what to do with it, okay? So I have a budget down below, check it out, and you're learning exactly what to do with it. But the entire concept is this, you wanna save the bulk of your money, you don't wanna spend it because if you didn't need money back then when you didn't have a job, then why do you need all this money now, okay? Now, if I had saved all the money that I got to when I was in college, I would have graduated with around like $98,000, okay? Now, I was lucky to graduate with $10,000 in my pocket. But if I had saved all the money and invested all the money, I would have graduated with, well, way more than $98,000, okay? Because I was making around like maybe between, well, depends, okay? Different eras. But I was making between like $1,000 to like $2,000 from normal jobs. And then for my other stuff, I was doing like a lot more money. But if I had kept all the money for my work and income, I would have made between like, like what, like 48 to like $98,000, which is incredible if you ask me, okay? So keep the money, please don't spend it if you don't need to. And by the way, if you are in college, you can obviously invest and also, you know, put money in the stock market and all that fancy stuff. So learn how to do those things if you wanna do that stuff with that money. But I highly recommend you just like keep the money because for the first few years, you just wanna learn how to do things and then like worry about like investing it. And on top of that, if you are 18 and below and you're like reselling things, you just like wanna resell and flip things, that's fine. I would take that money and put it back into the business and then flip things that cost a lot more money and then make more money, okay? But I would always take a percentage from my profits and then put that to the side because you never know when you're gonna stop or something's gonna go wrong. So you always wanna make sure you have money on the side just in case, okay? So just to summarize everything here, guys, okay? If you have a normal job, save the bulk of all that money, get a budget also, and then put it on the side, and then also teach yourself how to invest money either into real estate, either into investing. By the way, I do Acorns currently. I have a link down below, and Acorns lets me invest in the market and just track the market and not try to beat it. So every single year, every single month actually, I invest 500 bucks into Acorn. That's what I do, okay? I'll put a link down below to the video so you guys can see all the details also. Now, if you are trying to resell or start a business, remember, if you start a business, yes, take some money and put it to the business, but also take some money out and put it on the side just in case. I used to do 50% of my profits, I put it on the side and I just like save it up just in case anything happens, okay? Now, before I leave, guys, I wanna share with you guys a third final tip, kinda like personal advice just in case so you guys don't make the same mistakes I made when I was in college and high school and also 12 years old making 100 bucks, okay? And it's this, okay guys? You know, money is awesome, it's great, it gives you access to things you actually want to, you wanna buy this, you wanna buy that, you wanna be free, that's awesome. But if I could do it all over again, I would focus more on getting more skills that made me a lot of more money in the future, okay? So for example, it took me four years or like five years almost to get to this point where I'm making these videos on YouTube and I'm making money, okay? And if I could do it all over again, I would probably focus on, you know, meeting people that do what I want to do and just like going under them, work for free, and then eventually make money when I get all those skills that they actually have. So I would probably work on the YouTubers and also work on the people that do real estate and stuff like that. And then eventually when I get all those skills, then I can take those skills and then use it for myself and then make a lot more money in the long run, okay? So the main idea is this, money is great, but don't just worry about the money. Sometimes the experience makes a lot more sense. And by the way, before I go, comment down below and let me know, does this make sense? What jobs are you looking at right now? And are you in it for consistent money or for experience, okay? It's okay to do both, it's okay to do either or. I'm not telling you to do either or, okay? Just do whatever you want to do based on your goals. Everyone's goals is different. Now, guys, before I officially go, signing out here, I wanna say one last thing, okay? Please don't tell me, and don't tell yourself, by the way, that you don't have time to get a job. If you're in college or high school, 
or in kindergarten or in middle school, doesn't matter. You probably have the time because when I was in college, I was working three jobs, okay? Actually, four jobs. I was doing work study, okay? I was doing The Gap. I was doing YouTube videos every single day. And on top of that, I was also flipping items to make money for myself. On top of that, I was also on the dean's list and the president's list in high school. What is it? In college? Yeah, in college and in high school, I was always on the top five of all the students in my entire high school, okay? So again, there is no excuse whatsoever. Just make things work. I'm not telling you get a job, don't go to school. No, I'm telling you get a job and create a balance and maintain everything. Oh, and before I forget guys, don't forget, okay? Don't forget to get a resume, go on Google, find a template, copy and paste it, easy. You've been doing copy and paste forever, don't lie to me. On top of that, number two is this. You wanna make sure you grab the application, you apply online, get a copy of it, and give it to the manager at the store also, just in case. Number three is this. Once you apply, they haven't contacted you yet, you wanna call in and follow up and find out exactly what's going on. If they reject you, you keep applying and you keep searching over the place. Don't stop just because you applied for one job. I apply to everything. And until you get accepted, don't stop applying because you never know when something's gonna fall through. So just make sure you cover all the steps so you don't end up regretting it. And as always, guys, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, slap a like on it. Really appreciate it. On top of that, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so you get notified. And if you wanna talk to me one on one, una una, if you have any questions whatsoever, just DM me on Instagram at Tommy Bryson. And if you wanna watch more videos, for example, the top 10 trade jobs on the market currently click this video right here and if you want to for example um subscribe to the channel right now click this entire like um face right here i'll see you guys tomorrow thanks for watching and peace